In the spring of 2003, the northern reaches of California were blanketed in a thick fog, the kind that wrapped itself around the towering trees and clung to the road like a ghostly shroud. On this particular night, James Reynolds found himself navigating the eerie mist on Highway 97, a desolate stretch of road that wound through the darkened woods. James, a middle-aged man with a penchant for solitary drives, had set out on a journey to clear his mind. The hum of his car engine was the only companion in the dense silence as he drove through the labyrinth of fog. The headlights carved a path through the mist, revealing fleeting glimpses of gnarled branches and the occasional road sign, their reflective surfaces winking like distant stars. As the fog thickened, an unsettling feeling crept over James. It was the kind of unease that whispered through the shadows, urging him to be vigilant. The rhythmic thud of his heart echoed in the enclosed space of his car as he continued down the isolated highway. Suddenly, a spectral figure emerged from the mist, silent and ghostly. James squinted, trying to make sense of the apparition. To his surprise, it took the form of a white owl, its feathers gleaming like moonlight. The ethereal creature seemed to dance alongside the car, its eyes locked with James's, as if imparting an unspoken warning. Fear gripped James, compelling him to slow down. The owl continued its mysterious ballet, guiding him with an otherworldly grace. As the car coasted at a cautious pace, James noticed something unexpected ahead, an abandoned vehicle half buried in the damp earth, its headlights extinguished. The revelation sent a shiver down James's spine. He pulled over, his headlights illuminating the scene like a spotlight on a darkened stage. The white ghost owl perched on a nearby tree branch, its gaze unwavering, as if acknowledging its role and revealing the hidden danger. Approaching the stranded car, James saw that it had skidded off the road and come to rest against a tree. Panic set in as he spotted the silhouette of a young woman inside, her body slumped against the steering wheel. Without hesitation, he rushed to her aid, the mist swirling around them like unseen specters. The woman, disoriented and injured, groggily responded to James's voice. He gently helped her out of the car, assessing the extent of her injuries. It became apparent that she needed urgent medical attention. The collision had left her with a gash on her forehead, blood marring her pale face. James, relying on instinct and adrenaline, reached for his cell phone to call for help. The signal was weak, but after several attempts, he managed to connect with emergency services. As he waited for assistance, he comforted the injured woman, assuring her that help was on the way. The ghostly owl, its presence now a distant silhouette against the fog, watched over them until the distant wails of sirens pierced the quiet night. First responders arrived, their flashing lights cutting through the fog like beacons of hope. The young woman was carefully loaded into the ambulance, her life hanging in the balance. As the ambulance pulled away, James stood on the mist-covered highway, the ghostly owl disappearing into the shadows. His heart still raced, a mix of fear and relief coursing through his veins. The mysterious creature had guided him to a life-changing moment, a twist of fate that bridged the gap between the mundane and the extraordinary. In the aftermath, news of the accident spread throughout the small community. The injured woman, identified as Sarah Turner, eventually recovered from her injuries. James, hailed as a hero, remained haunted by the surreal encounter on Highway 97, forever grateful to the mysterious white ghost owl that had crossed his path. In the stillness of that foggy spring night, a silent pact had been forged between the mundane and the mystical, leaving an indelible mark on the lives of those who dared to traverse the whispering fog on Highway 97.